all yes <laughs> last night I had a little time and I was reading about the conspiracy to obstruct <laughs> If two or more persons conspire either to commit any offense against the United States or to defraud the United States <laughs> or any agency thereof in any manner or for any purpose, <laughs> and one or more of such persons do any act to affect the object of the conspiracy, mm -hmm, each shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than five years or both. Oh, <laughs> the conspiracy to obstruct. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, I documented that the issuance of court orders, right, <laughs> there are no exceptions to the rule, Brant. Approach. <laughs> I was not a resident of Washington State in 2011. <laughs> I didn't commit any domestic violence or child abuse. Right. I did seven hours of parenting classes. <laughs> My record's been expunged. Yes. When I got here, you had issued a protection order without any notice or opportunity to myself. <laughs> now, when you issued that protection order, you happened to violate the laws of the United States, and then you conspired to try to make me look like I was a criminal, <laughs> when I'm not. <laughs> now, calling Healthy Families of Clallam County in May of 2012 after they had helped... <laughs> Ap well, your conspiracy involves the whole sheriff's department, yes, <laughs> the police departments, yes, and all of you said a homeless man has no rights and we're going to continue to conspire to defraud myself of my rights, civil rights, yes, we're going to continue to defraud the United States of America, <laughs> and then in that conspiracy of fraud, POW! We're going to sit there every fucking day and act like you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Really, you have no idea what I'm saying. Now, after two million emails, yes. After 10,000 videos, right. This conspiracy to obstruct, yes, is a punishable crime. Now, I emailed you yesterday, right about the fraud of using forgeries <laughs> and then the fraud of issuing court orders where the petitioner did or did not petition the court yes mm -hmm. the fraud of having court hearings <laughs> where there's no actual notice or opportunity to be heard to the respondent <laughs> yeah and then there's the fraud of issuing court orders where the full faith and credit of the United States Constitution is involved <laughs> That means that every police department, all sheriff's departments, and any and all individuals in law enforcement <laughs> are involved in your conspiracy to defraud the United States of America. So, now having me plot, well, see, <laughs> when you do not issue court orders in accordance with the requirements of the Violence Against Women's Act, yeah, and you put it on the WACIC, oh, you put it on the NCIC, <laughs> And then you sit there every fucking day acting like every state of the United States doesn't have the liability for your crime. <laughs> you may not understand exactly how big your crime is. <laughs> now, in 2011, you didn't issue the first protection order according to the requirements of the Violence Against Women's Act. <laughs> It does specifically say that you have to protect the due process rights of the respondent. Yes. <laughs> and it says that you have to have personal and subject matter jurisdiction. <laughs> and then when the two court commissioners reissued it when I was on trial, yes, <laughs> you d they didn't have personal or subject matter jurisdiction because the jurisdiction was with Judge Porter. Yes. <laughs> That happened to be the uh, judge of that court case where I was found not guilty. Yes. <laughs> so it violated the Violence Against Women's Act. <laughs> now, you should have waited until you had the actual verdict because I didn't break the protection order. Yes. I was just wanting to see if the Attorney General on Guam had given the information to healthy families of Clallam County. <laughs> that I did seven hours of parenting classes. Now, instead of you removing the protection order, you decided for the last seven years and three months <laughs> that you would conspire as law enforcement <laughs> to 
judiciary, yes, and those elected to office known as the city council, <laughs> county commissioners, ooch. <laughs> oh, oh, those elected oaths of office that do know about the right to due process, yes, the equal protections of the law, yes, and the privileges and immunities of being a citizen of the United States of America. Your conspiracy right to defraud the United States is real, and today it's an obstruction of fucking justice. Now, why don't you have my sons call me? Ouch. Because I'll go through everything that you did as a judiciary for the last seven years, and then I'm not only suing you for the fraud of yesterday of defrauding fi financial institutions, <laughs> today I'm suing you for the conspiracy of obstruction of fucking justice. Now remove your fraud. <laughs>